Let's take a look at how Clerk Superbase integration actually works. The first thing that happens is a user is going to sign up with Clerk, and they're going to be issued a JWT token that they can use with every subsequent request. When requests go to the data API provided by Superbase with the token that comes along with the request, Superbase will then cross-reference the validity of that token using the JWKS endpoint that is available for every single Clerk application. Assuming the token is valid, the request will continue to access data from the database, which will then be returned to the data API, and finally back to the client. Inside of the claims of the JWT, the ISS value or issuer contains the URL of the clerk application, which is also where the JWKS is located. When the integration is set up inside of Superbase, you enter this URL so Superbase knows where it can validate that token. With authentication out of the way, let's talk about authorization, which is making sure users can only access the data they're supposed to. And that actually happens in the database layer using a technology from Postgres called RLS. RLS or row level security is a way to secure individual rows inside of a database table by cross-referencing data from the incoming request with values of a specific column or multiple columns within a table. It's enabled on a per table basis. So once it's enabled, you can create your RLS policies that Postgres will use to evaluate the queries. For example, the policy shown on screen will make sure that when a query comes in, the value of the owner ID column for each record that is being returned matches the sub or subject value of the incoming claims using the auth.jwt function provided by Superbase. This effectively transforms a query like a select star statement into a select star that also contains the where clause necessary to filter down the records that are returned back to the caller. Last little detail about the integration is the role claim, which is required for Superbase to figure out what kind of user is on the other end of the request. Once the integration is enabled inside of the clerk dashboard, we automatically add this claim to every single token we mint to make sure that it's compatible with your Superbase setup.